and welcome my Mark Frazier with Nature Walks with Mark. I'm here with Senator Jamie Eldridge and we're talking today about single-use plastics and their impact to the environment. Hi Jamie and thank you very much for coming. It's really Mark, a pleasure thanks to have for having me on. Great fantastic, to see you. Fantastic, fantastic. The plastic field called the Pacific Garbage Patch has actually grown to a size as large as, as the United States. What can we do to help clean this up? Looking for um, a way to make a difference, to make an impact, I learned that Sen Senator Jamie Aldrich actually has proposed a bill, and if you'd like to talk about it, to actually ban plastic bags in the Bay State, and I very much support that, and mm -hmm. I think that's a huge benefit. So Jamie, if you want to maybe talk oh, about Oh sure, that. yeah, absolutely. Well, well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. You're very well. I appreciate your, your commitment to protecting the environment. In this session as a senator, um, I had the chance to talk to the Sierra Club and they had this idea for a ban on plastic bags. Um, it's something that really shouldn't be in the, the consumer market because it has no place um, after it's used to bring you know, groceries or whatever to your car. Sure. And uh, it's very hard to break down, um, it, so it impacts wildlife. Uh, but it also wastes a lot of oil, um, wastes sure a lot of oil does. to create it. So, so the bill that I filed would ban the use of plastic bags in any retail store that has a sale of over uh, $500,000 per year. So it, it protects the mom and pop stores, but uh, your supermarkets, uh, you know, your large retail stores, it would all be banned. Um, and I know that there's been some discussion about taxing plastic bags or finding a better way to recycle them, but at the end of the day, it really is just a product that just shouldn't be in the, 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 the consumer stream. Couldn't agree more. You know, some people call them thin plastics because the fact that they're made at such a, such a thin, I mean, I don't even know, it's less than a millimeter, it's so thin, yeah. that's the problem is that it breaks down in the, in the ocean from the salt in the sun and it's not biodegradable and so therefore it just gets smaller pieces of the same thing. So this, you can imagine the field, this one bag when it spreads out. And there's 380 billion of those that are produced every year by Americans. So Imagine only about that. five percent are recycled now. So, and that's why we need the bans. This is something that 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 we can change. We really can, you know. And, and just like we had talked about before we started taping about how the Clean Water Act, you mm -hmm. know, thanks to Marion Stoddard and the other folks that helped her, you know, that sure. that that was like a domino effect, right? It, it needed to be passed. And here in the Bay State, the textile mills would dump all their dye into the rivers, and you'd see these colored rivers that were the color of this background wall, or, or red, or whatever. And right. and thanks to hard work and gumption and moxie, mm -hmm. right? She she got up and 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 she got this this law passed, the Clean Water Act here in the Bay State. And then the rest of the states in the country followed suit, mm -hmm. like a domino effect. Mm -hmm. What kind of things can we help as volunteers to help, you know, get more awareness about this bill? Sure, well, the, the bill has had a hearing, so I testified in the bill a couple months ago. So it's in the uh, Joint Committee on the Environment, Natural Resources, and Agriculture. So in terms of getting it out, it's, it's prioritizing to your state legislators uh, to ask them to express their support or co-sponsor the bill. Um, I know uh, right here Senator Tucker is a supporter of the bill, so she's been terrific. Um, but to you know, anyone who, who sees the show, to contact your legislator, both your state representative and state senator, and ask them to be a co-sponsor of this bill and uh, express their support for passing it and voting it into law. Excellent. So, yeah. so and, and we'll, we'll put that up on the screen mm -hmm. you know, when we're talking. So and yeah. would that be the MassGov website that they would find who to contact? If they're not familiar, yep, yeah. uh, it's actually where do, where do I vote ma uh, dot com. Um, so Excellent. you can go there. Um, you can also go to my website senatoreldridge.com, and that link is there as well as more details on the bill. So excellent, and, and I'll do the same. I'll, I'll put that information on a tab on naturewalkswithmark.org. Terrific, and, yeah. And, and, and I already put a tab there, which mentioning just the 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 bill, the proposed bill, and yep. and trying to get the word out, and that's what it's all about. And you know, I often say on the show that working together we can make a difference and we, we really truly can and this is an example of how mm -hmm. we can do it. So, so, you know, for all those folks watching today, I thank you very much for taking the time to listen and to pay attention and to, to, to do whatever you can to try and help support this. And Senator, I thank you very much. This has been a fantastic opportunity oh, to discuss Oh great, thanks everything. Mark, great to be on You're the show. You're very welcome, thank yeah. you very much. Simply by changing over from a one-time use disposable bag like this, to a reusable canvas bag like this makes all the difference in the world. Thank you very much.